Hi, good day everyone. I'm back again, Teacher Lynn from Camglish.com. Of course, today we are going to continue our activity from our previous video using the book Side by Side, the third edition. Alright, so are you now ready? Oh, I'm so excited. Also, now let's open our page for today. Alright, we have the activity How to Say It. Asking for advice. Letter A. I have a cold. What should I do? Or do you have any advice? Do you have any suggestions? I think you should drink some hot tea. Alright, how about you? What do you do when you have a cold? Mmm, okay. That's good. I also do the same thing. Now let's have the interactions. Home remedies. Alright, home remedies is like um, things you can do to help you feel better. Okay just uh, using the things in your house okay or home medicine different people have different remedies for medical problems that aren't very serious for example people do different things when they burn a finger let's say for person number one some people rub butter on their finger wow other people put a piece of ice on their finger and other people put their finger on their cold water all right because people believe that um, it will help us um, uh, relieve the pain all right in my case I use toothpaste how about you in your country when someone burns his finger what home remedy do you do Mm, all right okay let's practice conversations i have a cold okay what do you suggest all right or do you have any advice mm, okay i have a toothache what should i do do you have any suggestions all right i have a stomach ache okay what should i do mm. how about you when you are having stomach ache what do you do mm. i also take a rest and drink something hot okay i have a bloody nose Mm. I have the hiccups. Okay, now let's have another one. The pronunciation must and mustn't. Listen, then say it. I must eat more food. He must eat fewer cookies. You mustn't eat cake. They mustn't eat ice cream. Alright, say it, then listen. All right, we must eat less cheese. She must eat more vegetables. I mustn't eat butter. And, all right, they mustn't eat potato chips. Okay, there are a lot of rules in diary life, daily life, things you must do and things you must not do. All right, how about you think about the rules in your life? at school, on the job, in your home, and in your community. And you can share it to the class. Okay. And for the last activity, we have the chapter summary. First one, the grammar. Must. Alright, for the subjects, I, he, she, it, we, you, and they must work. Same. Must not eat candy. Mustn't versus don't have to. I don't have to stop eating cookies, but I must not eat as ma many cookies as I did before. 
Must versus should. Should I stop eating rich desserts? You must stop eating rich desserts. Alright. Okay. That's good. Now let's have the non count count nouns. Alright. Non count, he must eat more or less bread, fish, and meat. Count, he must eat more, fewer cookies, potatoes, and eggs. Alright. Key vocabulary medical checkup. We have so many words listed in that category. We have blood pressure, <clears throat> blood test, cardiogram, checkup, chest x ray, doctor, ears, eyes, examination, health, heart, height, lab technician, measure, neck, nose, nurse, scale, stethoscope, throat, weight, x-ray technician. Okay, now let's read the foods. Apples, bread, butter, cake, candy, cheese, cookies, desserts, dog biscuits, eggs, fish, flour, french fries, fruit, grapefruit, green vegetables, ice cream, margarine, meat, nuts, onions, pepper, potato chips, potatoes, raisins, rice, salt, skim milk, sugar, tomatoes, vegetables, water, yogurt, fatty meat, and lean meat. Alright, thank you for reading it with me. Okay, I hope that you are familiar enough to some and most of the words that we had for our activity. Alright, and I think that would be all for today. Alright, I hope you enjoyed reading and learning new words for today's activity. This has been me, Teacher Dean.